The Shoas or Bhotias of the Kumaos were originally a nomadic tribe. Aided by flourishing trade relations with Tibet, they developed the art of weaving and dyeing wool with natural dyes into a vibrant and profitable cottage industry. However, China's invasion of Tibet caused the trade to stop completely and as supply of wool from Tibet ceased, natural dyeing also came to a virtual standstill. Avani, an NGO in Tripura Devi Uttaranchal, is helping them revive this lost art and earn a living through it. Here, dolu, a locally available wood, is being used for colour. The usual method of preparing a dye concentrate is to heat a solution of the dye yielding substance for a sufficiently long time. Any yarn of fabric to be dyed should be washed to soften it and remove impurities. The fibre soaking in the dye and taking on the different hues of nature is a spectacle that never fails to fascinate. At Avani, a range of materials like dolu, walnut, tartary, onion skin, pomegranate skin and betel nut are used to dye wool in a wide array of colours. This is then woven into shawls, stoles and scarves. <laughs> 